Hey everybody and welcome. My name is Kaylee. If you're new here, I sell clothing and shoes on eBay and Poshmark. Today I wanted to come on and share a tool with you that you may or may not have heard of and you may have access to for free through eBay. So if you have a store that is a basic or higher, which I think most people selling on eBay seriously do, then you have access to a tool called Terapeak. And today I'm gonna show you how to use that through eBay so that you can have better sales, better listings, and just all in all better knowledge of how to use it. Uh, Terapeak is free with an eBay store that is basic or higher. eBay has a store called a starter, which is the lowest store that you can subscribe to. I will put a screenshot right here of what they offer, but starters do not have the complimentary Terapeak. Everything above that does. If you don't already have a store and you are selling on eBay and you intend to do it seriously, you're probably gonna be saving money by signing up for a store. I would definitely look into that. So for those of you that do have a store that is basic or higher, you have access to Terapeak, which is a research tool. Now Terapeak is its own separate site. You can actually subscribe to that um, just as a consumer. And I will put a screenshot here of what their regular pricing is, but eBay is actually offering it complimentary through store subscriptions, basic and higher, which is really nice of them to do. And since you already have it free, you should be trying to use it and see how it can benefit you. So basically all Terapeak is, is just like checking sold listings and the benefits of checking through Terapeak versus through the eBay solds is that it's less clicks to get to the information. They show more of a time period than eBay offers through their sold, so you can get better accuracy of how much an item is trending for. And they also have an easy way to include global sales. So let's jump in. I will show you how to get to Terapeak right now. All right, so we are going to hop on over to Terapeak. So I'm just on the main eBay page and I am logged into my account. We're going to go up here to sell. And when we are on our seller hub, you can see that there is a tab here called research. You guys have probably seen this, but if you've never um, dived into it, we are going to look at that today. So as you can see, there are several things we can click through the research tab. Today, I'm only going to show you the Terapeak product research. So let's go ahead and go to that. So from here, um, you're just going to want to search the product that you want to list. Now I will say I have not found a way to access this through the eBay app. So currently, as far as I know, you can only access it on the desktop. So you wouldn't be able to use this while you're outsourcing to determine if you wanted to buy a product, but once you're already home and you want to do more research in order to figure out what you're going to list the item for, this is when you would want to use this tool. Let's go ahead and search women's Nike jogger sweatpants. So we have a couple different options that we can use to filter the results that we want. Um, over here, you can see we've just got ebay.com. If you click on any of these other ones, you're going to basically go into other country sites um, that they list on eBay. I'm going to stick with just regular old ebay.com. Um, you can also search by the UPC and include it or search by the UPC and it'll bring up both results. Um, I hardly ever use this. If you sell one-off items, you're probably never going to use this search bar right here. Um, so here you can see they offer more of a time frame than eBay does in just their searching through the sold listings through the app. So on eBay, they show you the last 90 days of information. Um, you can't see any further than that. So let's say that you find some really cool vintage jacket, a brand you've never heard of. You search for that on eBay and nothing comes up in the active or the solds. 
chances are that somebody has sold that item. However, it's just been so long because it is more of a rare item that you're not going to be able to see the information. You can, however, go on to Terapeak Research and they go up to a year. You can see we've got the last 365 days. We'll go ahead and click on that now. Um, but you can see more time that has elapsed and more possibility that an item has sold. So if you've got something rare, kind of unique, and you're not getting search results from eBay, you could go over onto Terapeak. That way you could see um, more of a range of dates. So we're gonna do the last 365 days. Here we've got a dollar amount. If we wanna filter by dollar amount, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, and then the condition, definitely would recommend you pick the condition of your item because if not, you're going to have skewed pricing of new items being sold and used items being sold and mixed together. So we're going to say used. Um, I usually just leave these blank, but you can drill down depending on what you want to do. Most people I would think would click on a fixed price. And then from here, you can do buyer locations and seller locations. To me, that doesn't really matter because I've got buyers um, buying from all different locations. So we will go ahead and search. And you can see all of our results down here. You can see we've got the date range and that gives you quite a bit of information. It tells you how many sellers in total they are showing you, how many items had sold, what the percentage was that offered free shipping. So this would be a really good tool to use um, when you are filling out your forms for shipping and you're deciding whether to offer free shipping or not. If that number was like 90% of people offered free shipping on this item. Chances are if you're the only one not offering free shipping, then buyers are probably not going to purchase that item from you. So 23% of people offered free shipping. Here was the average shipping cost and then the sold price range. So it looks like the lowest amount was a penny and the highest was $45. And then here is the average sold price. And then from there you can go through and look at all the different items that have sold. You can also uh, sort it by date last sold, which is what it defaults to. Um, the total sale, the average ship shipping, and all you would do is click that to sort by that. So here you can see we are now searching by the average sold price and this is good information because the highest price sold was a lot. So basically I would not expect more than $40 for a used pair of Nike women's jogger sweatpants on average. So just for sake of showing you, I don't ever use this, but there is this option here called show sales trends. You can click that on and it will give you a little graph basically telling you um, when the most popular times, days were that these items sold. Um, I have not really drilled down far enough into that to find that useful, um, but just wanted to show you it was an option. So at this point, if I am sitting down listing, I would just keep all of my options the same, last 365 days or whatever you choose on ebay.com used and then I would just keep changing the search title right here um, in order to figure out what I wanted to sell my items for. Another thing that I have found this helpful for is to search on this before I go sourcing to try and get an idea of what kind of items I should be looking for and what brands in certain categories. So what I mean by that is if I am going to go out sourcing and I want to know I know that I'm going to search in the men's jacket area and I want to find out what kind of brands I need to be looking for, which by the way, I recommend that you do some research every single week so that you can stay on top of what's trending and then what is on the decline. So you can do that by using Terapeak pretty easily. So we'll be more generic now. So let's say we want to look up men's fleece zip jacket. We'll go ahead and search. Now let's say that I want to increase my average sale price and I am only going to pick up jackets that are 
$45 or higher, we can set our minimum to 45 and hit search. And again, I have the used because if you are sourcing a thrift store, more than likely you're going to be finding a used jacket. So we have search. I've left it on 365 days. And we can see the average sold price of a used men's fleece jacket is $63, ranging from $45, of course, is the minimum because that's what we preset, all the way up to $500, average shipping, what percent of free shipping, total sold and total sellers. Now, what I'm interested in if I'm searching for this before I go sourcing is I just want to take a quick browse and see what brands are selling and what types are selling. So I'm going to keep it on the date last sold because I want the most relevant information. But if you wanted to, you could search by average sold price to see what the highest priced um, categories and brands were. So here we can see Patagonia, Arcturex, another Patagonia. This one's actually mine. That's funny. This sold today. Um, another Arcturex, Patagonia, a lot of Patagonia and Arcturex. So we know that those are really good brands that we should be on the lookout for. From here, let's say that you didn't know what the Arcturex label looked like. You could go into the listings and see if that seller had a picture of the brand tag, which more than likely they would have had. So um, here is what that label looks like. And you can click into them and do more research if you would like. Back on this page, we see some cool, some Rivers West by Mossy Oak. Um, so that's cool. I would not have thought to look for mossy oak jackets. Um, I'm not really into hunting gear, so that's something I wouldn't have known to look for unless I came to this page and looked at the solds. Uh, so we can see just some different brands to get an idea of what you are looking for. And some of this you may already know, but you may come across a brand that you hadn't heard of before. Um, there's an L.L. Bean there, some Lululemon, some vintage Polo Ralph Lauren. So just to get an idea of what is currently trending and selling right now. And again, this is good if you want to set a minimum pricing and you're trying to raise your average sale price. So we will do one more just as an example. Let's say that you want to start trying to go through the women's jeans category. I would just type in women's jeans, go ahead and search. I left it on 365 days because I feel like that is a good range and down here we're searching by most relevant so it's not like we are going to have skewed results. Let's say I only want to pick up jeans that are, I don't know, we'll aim big, go for 75 or higher in use condition. And these are definitely some brands that I have not heard of before. So I know about Good American. I didn't know that Laura Piana made pants, so that's good to know. I'm only used to the blazers. Um, Mother, I did know about Mother, Rag and Bone, Mousy. I've never heard of that brand, so let's hop over. And in order to get to it, you'll have to go to see original listing. So here is what that looks like. So yeah, now I know. Keep an eye out for this brand. I assume it's pronounced Mousy. Okay, so you guys get the point. This is just a good way to really prepare for sourcing and figure out some brands you might not have known of beforehand. And this really eliminates having to sift through those um, brands that you don't want to pick up. Like if I wouldn't have set a minimum of $75, um, then I would have been getting anything from $0 up. So, you know, Old Navy, Massimo, Walmart brands would be showing up. Um, you can filter this through the eBay search as well, but I just think it is way more convenient on the desktop. All right, guys, so that is how to use the Terapeak research tab through your eBay store. Hopefully, if you have not already used this, you will give it a try if it is included in your store subscription. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Let me know if you've used Terra Peak before. I will talk to you guys next time. I hope you guys are having a great new year.